cervical disc herniation. What is the intervertebral disc? The intervertebral disc allows fine motion and provides stability. And it is responsible for 25% of a spinal column height. It links the vertebral bodies together and it is shock absorbable. It's composed of two parts, the annulus fibrosus, the outer structure which encases the nucleus bulbosus. It has type 1 collagen and it has a high tensile strength. It has more collagen than proteoglycan. The nucleus bulbosus is the central part of the disc and it is surrounded by the annulus fibrosus. It has type 2 collagen and has about 88% water. It is hydrophilic, means it absorbs the water. It's compressible. The agricane is a proteoglycan that is responsible for maintaining the water content of the desk and it resists compression. It is a viscoelastic matrix that distributes the forces smoothly to the annulus and to the end plate. It has high proteoglycan and low collagen. The disc is avascular and the capillaries ends at the end plate. Nutrition reaches the nucleus pulposus through diffusion through the end plate. The annulus is not porous enough to allow diffusion. How about the innervation? The dorsal root ganglia gives rise to the sinovertebral nerve which innervates the superficial fibers of the annulus. There is a difference between a herniated disc and the aging disc. A tear in the annulus fibrosis will allow the nucleus alposis to herniate through that tear, compressing a nerve root and causing nerve irritation and maybe sciatica. In the aging disc, there will be loss of water content and the cartilage will convert to fibrocartilage. There will be decrease in nutritional support, water content, and proteoglycans. And there will be increase in keratin sulfate, increase in the degradative enzyme activity, and will be no change in the absolute quantity of collagen. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.